Well, it's one of the buzziest shows in town right now after an acclaimed sold-out run in the fall. The play Job is back on stage by popular demand called 80 Minutes of Pure Tension. Sydney Lemon stars as Jane, who after a breakdown at work comes to see a crisis therapist played by Peter Friedman. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Listen, it is very rare to have a return engagement, isn't it? I mean, like, that doesn't happen very often. So obviously there's something pretty special happening here. Um, was it an immediate yes from both of you? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, so did you have any idea that there was a possibility of coming back? We did have a, a, an idea. The, the, the response was so good the first time around. Yeah. And the producers are so intrepid, and they're willing to find out if this can happen. I, I was so impressed with their work, you know. Yeah. At first, though, I will say, I think we never imagined that it would catch fire the way that it did. I think we were both just drawn to it because the material is great. Yeah. Uh, but not really expecting too many people to see it. And then it, something happened. Because you it, never really know. You like, don't you, really you, know. you sign on to a project, you hope for the best, and then you're like, it's a blessing if it comes back. Um, and so, Sydney, you played uh, Jane. So she works at a tech company. Mm -hmm. She has a breakdown, like we mentioned in the beginning, and she goes to see your character, who is a crisis therapist. Your, this breakdown went viral. I mean, so, it, you know, what first drew you to her? Because that is, you know, not a fun thing to have to play. Unless you're an actress. <laughs> it's <laughs> right. it's a great it's thing, to thing to play. Oh, done. <laughs> um, it's uh, kind of everything you hope for. It's really, really? challenging material yeah. and asks a lot of you and it's really, it's the good stuff. So I'm, I'm, yeah. really, I'm lucky. You're right. As an actor, it's a lot to bite off and chew, right? And yeah. so if it's, it's got, there's so much for you to work with. And Peter, you play Lloyd, who has this summer camp energy he right does. tell me what that means so 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 what you said was that you you that you this play can be like jazz finding different things in him every night have you found more things in him the second time around i think i think our director michael hurwitz made sure that both of us did he really? he, he broadened moments took some more time with with air in between some yeah moments that he wanted to pinpoint. I think it's I think it's deeper this time around. I think you so know. too. Oh deeper. And it was pretty deep to begin with. So I you know this it, it touches on some pretty heavy subject matter. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give it away because that's part of you know the thrill of this play. Um, but there are warnings for audience members before they even sit down for this show. When you read this script, did did the Max Wolf Friedlich give you guys di disclaimers on like this could be triggering or I know I went in completely blind and discovered page by page sort of all of its yeah darknesses so yeah. yep a little bit of a shell shock um, but yeah yeah no it, you're sent a script and you you hope it's it's fun to read and it was yeah well we mentioned that one review called this 80 minutes of pure attention like you guys <laughs> nailed this back and forth so well like each night do you have special routines before the show like how to get into it and then how to unwind after because I feel like Ooh. it's necessary right to, on this show in particular it's kind of like every day is a different requirement sometimes for different jobs there's something that you know it's steadfast and works, but on this on this play, every day requires something a little different. So it's always changing for me. But so, afterwards, so meaning like you have to be open to whatever. Yeah, yeah. Some days it's just like singing a little bit in my dressing room. Some days it's looking at a picture. It, it really changes. Yeah. Um, and afterwards, yeah, vocal warm downs. I don't know. And and, like and what appears on the stage with Sydney as someone who's seen every performance, yeah. also changes based on whatever you're doing. I mean, yeah. it's always different. And that's so fun for you guys, I imagine, but also like just absolutely keeps you on your toes. To me, that sounds like horrifying. <laughs> it just sounds like really scary, but you know, I do live TV every day, so I guess I'm used to something like that. But right. you can catch Job now through March 3rd at the Connolly Theater. For tickets, head to jobtheplay.com. Thank you so much for stopping Thanks, by. Sarah. Thanks for having yeah. us.